Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Command Shift 4 here to capture an image and I'm going to take that image and make sure that I'm then going to use it on um, Illustrator in order to add some, um, like a border around it so that it looks like a Polaroid shot. Now I'm pretty sure I didn't actually get that picture that I wanted, so Command Shift 4 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stalk here and wait until that picture comes up again. So with my uh, finger on the mouse button and then I'm just going to release when I get the picture that I want. Actually these sorts of pictures aren't bad anyway. So you can use this to frame what you want, but that's the picture that I actually want. So that would have saved it to my desktop, so I'm just going to minimise this now and open up Illustrator. Now, what I've got in Illustrator is essentially just a blank document. Now I need to go and place the image that I've got. So I'm going to go File, Place, and I'm going to find on my desktop, um, it'll be a screenshot, one of the screenshots recently. Nope, nope, there we go, and place it in. Now, all I'm going to use is the rectangle button to create different sized images. So my first one is going to be bigger and also slightly larger on the bottom than it is on the top, like a Polaroid would be. So if you have a look there, it's got like a nice border shape. Now obviously the picture's behind, so I've just got to go Object, And now hopefully you can see my whole screen. I'm going to go Object, Arrange, and I'm going to bring that right to the front. So when I put that over the top of my rectangle now, you can see it perfectly. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, so Command-C and Command-V, that image. And I'm going to slightly offset, and this is going to be my shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to pick a slight grey colour and I'm going to make sure that there's no stroke because shadows don't have outlines funny enough uh, and here on the opacity I'm just going to change that to about 50% so you should be able to then see through it I'm going to then trans, uh, sorry, arrange it again and send it to back so it's behind my whole thing so that's like a basic drop shadow so you can have that like that if you wanted to but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the white arrow here and I'm just going to select each of the anchors and I'm going to slightly move them around so that it's not exactly because shadows again aren't perfect right angles to a picture I'm going to make it look like this so if I move that up a little bit okay perfect so what I could do is that I could like write some notes on here because normally a Polaroid would have some notes. Uh, Julius Caesar practice, but normally they don't look really nice and hand uh, typewritten. So I'm going to change it to something that I know would be a little bit more handwriting. In fact. It Schoolhouse cursive looks good. Okay, probably be better if you even downloaded a handwriting font or using a tablet or something. Then you could do it like uh, you could write on it actually manually. Um, then all I need to do is export, and because I wanted it as a transparent background, I'm going to make sure that I export it as a PNG. And then that's it. So I've got here transparent background, that's fine. You don't want to make the resolution any higher because it's going to be for a website, so screen is best. And that's it.